Hello everyone, especially lovely couples, uh, my name is Abelon and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to count down the top 10 best video games to play with your soulmate to spend sweet time together. Spending time with your soulmates or you know with your loved one is one of the best thing to do if you really love him or her. So we have some games here to spice it up a little more and have fun and spend your time together. Actually, just before we dive in, I really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and actually leave your idea and thoughts in the comment. Without any hesitation, let's dive to the video. Number 10 in our list, Don't Starve Together. Venture hand in hand into a spooky horror world in Don't Starve Together, where your survival depends on working together. It blends the building and scavenging of Minecraft with the quirky, gothy charm of you know, Tim Burton Eskew World. Will you stand together or unravel alone? Balance health, hunger and sanity while facing monster and seasonal scarcities. Build a life together, gather food, construct the base and unlock mystical research to survive and eventually thrive. Each day reveals new threats and essentials to uncover in this procedurally generated world. Combine your unique talents like Ghost Whispering Wendy or Fierce Warrior Wigfried and add strategy to your collaboration. Playing together means managing resources smartly and combining a strength to survive from starvation to pig army raid. Don't start together links you in a purpose and place. Will you flourish together or perish separately in this gothic fantasy scape? Survival requires cooperation, so band together or die alone. Number 9. Untitled Goose Game in Untitled Goose Game, embrace mischief as a pesky goose set loose in an unsuspecting village. Drag objects around or mess with townfolk while checking tasks off your chaos to the list. Honk liberally with the dedicated button. The local co-op mode doubles the trouble as you become a do of troublesome geese. Together, you'll plan pranks honk endlessly and hilariously disrupt the villagers' daily life. While Untitled Goose Game may be short, it's packed with laughter and life of third mischief. The game's simple yet engaging stealth mechanic add to the excitement. Hide in the bushes or boxes to spring your next goose surprise. It's ideal for couples looking for, you know, life threat cooperative gaming experience where laughter and teamwork turn every session into a charmingly chaotic goose adventure. Number 8. Minecraft Nobody knew how huge Minecraft would be when the alpha released in 2010. But there were hints of it even from the first few hours, when the game's initial players start building rudimentary shapes and sharing screenshots of what they've created. Today, Minecraft is plagued by people of all age. Part of its appeal, aside from its openness, is the social aspect. Whether helping your child stave off monsters as you build a fantasy land together or collaborating with a group of adults to make a working hard drive, there's something for everyone. You can even play it as an RPG, killing mobs with your co-op partner, leveling up your building equipment, grow stronger with the eventual goal of taking on the final boss, the Ender Drive. Minecraft is whatever you want it to be and you can play it all with friends. Splunky Splunky is a Moorish 2D platformer with roguelike elements that kicks your arse <laughs> until it strengthens your spine. Although the geometry might be constantly shifting with each frequent death, the rules that govern the enemy type remain constant. After a while, Reflexes handles the enemies of the mines. It's like peeking into another dimension, but instead of losing your mind, you become Neo. Can you dodge bullets? Yes. Co-op changes the rules, making it perfect for seasoned players to team up. You might think things would be easier with more health and attack power. Stunning, whipping and blowing each other up will be regular occurrence in the claustrophobic confines of the levels. More players only add more complication and four player co-op is chaos, creating more hilarious way to fail, timing 
as ever is key. Now see if you can make it to hell with friends. Number six, Cuphead, trial by fire. Think your bond can withstand hellfire? Then wager it in Cuphead, a brutally challenging 2D platformer. You play as either Cuphead or Mugman, who after forfeiting their souls to the devil, must fight and collect the contracts of other debtors to save themselves. With the big band soundtrack mocking your inevitable deaths, guide them through white knuckled boss fights and platforming levels demanding perfect reflexes. Don't let the nostalgic cartoon style deceive you. This game is unforgiving. Intense boss battles barter your patience and teamwork. Yet the balanced run and gun combat makes victory feels fair and earned. Cuphead's delightful 1930s style cartoon carnage will incinerate little robbers, but resilient pairs can forge an unbreakable bond from the ashes of defeat. Number 5. Eh, Star Valley. There is a lot of shooting and adventuring on this list, but very few opportunities to hang out in the turnip field. Star Valley lets you live out an alternate life as a farmer away from the hustle and bustle of cities and video games with guns. It's about escape. Ever since the multiplayer update, you can now escape with friends, and actually your loved ones. It provides a place to be rather than a challenge to overcome. Each of you gets a dob around town. They're working together and dividing up tasks or plowing a way at an individual farm. You know, it's not that the valley feels sterile without other humans, but there are only so many blackberries you can hand over to your NPC neighbor before your relationships start feeling one dimensional. With real people in the mix, you get an actual community. Maybe your pal has an spare of melon you can give to Penny for her birthday. Maybe they'll bake you a cake or steal your chickens. Number 4 Portal 2. What happens when you take a single player game about traversing intricate puzzle rooms with portals and then double everything? It becomes twice as complicated and twice as satisfying. Portal 2 already expands on everything introduced in the bite-sized portal, adding things like extrusions, funnels, thermal discouragement beams, propulsion gel, and other fancy sounding words. But the addition of another player changed things the most. Four portals make each room more confusing to explore, especially when you consider both players need to reach the egg. In essence, many rooms require two solutions. Some puzzles require both oh, and the dexterity and firing your friends across a chasm by moving a portal while they free fall through another eventually becomes a normal as walking. Number 3. Overcooked 2. Overcooked and its sequel Overcooked 2 are both our silly games by simmering and sizzling. The physical manifestation of you're in the kitchen with up with three other players, you know, included your wife, and <laughs> you have to make food to order by preparing and combining certain ingredients. To get this done properly, everyone needs to carry out their appointment tasks pronto. Thing is, it doesn't always work out that way. The kitchens of Overcooked cooked are constantly changed. Narrow spaces mean players get in each other's way. Sometimes the whole level shifts. Benches on a ship will slide down the deck with each large wave, altering the layout entirely. While cooking in two trucks means that one part of the kitchen will occasionally accelerate, suddenly becoming off limit. How will you get the chow off the hop before it boils into the inedible paste? By shouting at your Hello chat, don't shout at your wife, it won't help well. You can shout at your husband, you know, it's okay, of course. Number 2. Keep talking, nobody explodes. The best examples of asymmetry in co-op, it involves at least two players, one of you is diffusing a bomb with a judicious mouse clicks and cautious wire snips, the other is giving instructions from a bomb diffusing manual. Neither player can look at what the other player is doing, it's one of the most perfect setups for the destruction of the healthy relationship, and a fantastic example of leaving the screen 
itself behind. You don't have to print out the manual to read from it. Yeah, you could just read a PDF file from a laptop, but we think it's the best way to play. You flip hurriedly through the pages trying to decipher the theory of these explosive devices. Then comes the challenge of communicating the quirks and the symbols of the page in a way that won't misunderstood. As a bomb handler, you're consistently double checking and second guessing your teammates as they stammer out their direction. In the end, you have just, you know, you have to got just trust your, you know, soul. Number one, it takes two. In it takes two, the couple becomes May, a smart engineer, and Cody, the heartler gardener. Their world turns upside down. When they shrink to doll size, they must tackle challenges together in their now gigantic world to return to normal. In this adventure, you must work together, navigating through a house that now feels like a giant wolf. Each level brings new abilities and tools, making gameplay varied and engaging. From puzzling obstacles to thrilling action, this game celebrates teamwork and creativity. Playing twice lets you experience both sides of this creative journey. Perfect for couples, it takes to blend cooperation with Vimsy offering an forgettable gaming experience that strengthened bonds and sparks joy. It also won Game of the Year of the Game Awards of 2021 and the 25th Annual Dice. So we are end of the list. I really wish which you find some games to play with your soulmates you know, throughout the weekend and enjoy it and pray for me for this list. <laughs> if you find some game, I really appreciate you subscribe to the channel if you didn't by now and leave your ideas in the comment on if you play something else which must be in this list. List it down in the comment. I really appreciate reading in your comment and like the video if you don't by now. My name is Ebolon. I will see you in next episode.